it's gone, gone, gone. Hi there. Spatial analysis. Forget about it. Well, the problem is that we have forgotten about it. I contend that we've forgotten about it for a century now. What do I mean by that? Well, we've forgotten that spatial analysis is important to teach throughout the educational curriculum. Primary, secondary, informal, university level. What I mean by that is that um, the, the kinds of things that are relevant to the 21st century, uh, energy, water, land use change, population dynamics, um, natural hazards, human health, all of those things have a spatial component. And what we're not doing in schools is drawing out students into thinking spatially about their community, about their region, about their country, about their world. And I think it's, it's a problem. And the reason why I think it's a problem is because what we need in society are people that can think spatially, right, in various decision-making roles, so that they can really see the connection between humans and the environment, and the environment and humans. So those interconnections are so important. Looking at patterns, relationships, and trends spatially, or geographically, if you will, is really important to all of the issues that our societies face around the world. So what I contend that we need to be teaching are our themes, various themes, eco-regions, climate, uh, transportation, economic interdependencies, and so on. Uh, also, we need to teach about core content. You know, what, is, what are cyclones and hurricanes? How do they form? How do they develop? What are watersheds, and how are those connected to river flow and, and weather patterns? Um, what are natural hazards, and what are the patterns and relationships of natural hazards, and why do humans seem to be coming into more and more frequent conflicts, if you will, or impacted more and more frequently by natural hazards? What about energy? How do we derive our energy? How, how are you watching this video? What powers the computer that you're watching this video, or the tablet, or the, the phone that you're, you know, that you're watching this video on? You know, how are those things uh, developed and interconnected, and how can we develop sustainable energy? And on the topic of sustainability, what about sustainable agriculture or sustainable tourism? You know, all these things are, are core content that I believe we need to be teaching. Also, skills, being able to use things like geographic information systems, a global positioning systems, remote sensing, and other geotechnologies, but also how to deal with data, how to build a database, how to work with the, the plethora of data out there and really assess whether it's uh, important or whether it's a, a reputable source or reliable source or can I trust it in my analysis. And also the geographic perspective or the spatial perspective is important, I believe, in education. So looking at things from a spatial perspective, in other words, scale, looking at maps and other geographic tools to help us see the, the patterns, the relationships, and the geographic trends over time and space. So I submit that uh, one of the best ways to teach spatial thinking, spatial analysis, is through geotechnologies, specifically web-based GIS. So there are several reasons why I think that these are valuable. First of all, good career opportunities for students. Uh, secondly, they're all standards-based. They're really um, tied to national and international standards in technology and science and math, geography, uh, and so on. And also, um, they foster critical thinking. And finally, look around. As I mentioned, we've got major 21st century issues, don't we? We've got acidification in the ocean. We've got uh, lots of farmland being gobbled up by urban expansion every year. We've got people being impacted by various diseases and, and uh, water quality issues around the world. We've got natural hazards operating, wildfires, earthquakes, volcanoes, uh, tsunamis, etc., impacting millions of lives. So we've got a lot of issues right in our 21st century world and because we've forgotten about spatial analysis in the curriculum I think it's a, it's a, a critical time for us to get back into why is this important and why we need to be teaching this so spatial analysis forget about it why is it important we don't need to worry about it well I contend that we do thanks for listening see ya you've lost that man Let's go.